guys, it's Evie here and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing what I keep in my gym bag. I'll go through um, what this gym bag is, show you all the pockets inside and, and yeah, just everything that I take to the gym with me every day, what I think is a gym, uh, what I think is a gym staple to have as well. And I just love this gym bag so much. It is such a great size. It's a tote and yeah, if that is something you are interested in, just keep on watching and make sure that you subscribe. I do share videos every single week, so that's it from this intro and let's get into it. Okay, so what is in my gym bag? I'll start off with what this is. So this is the Gymshark Everyday Tote. Um, it's pretty large and I love it so much. It holds everything that I possibly need in here. It has so many pockets and honestly... I think this gym sh uh, this gym bag is honestly a must have. Like like I said, great size has lots of pockets. I'll be showing you guys all the pockets and everything as well. Um, with some extra clips. So I guess I can start off with what I actually have on the outside. So I have this little cute um holder that I keep my pre workout in. I got this from AliExpress for literally I think it was like two dollars. It was it's amazing. It is so cute. It just looks like a little protein powder tub and it's so adorable. I love it so much. So yeah, um, I just take, like I said, I pop my pre-workout in there and then yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> so it has this front pocket, like this mesh thing here. And in that pocket, I actually keep my Kindle in there because anytime I do any sort of cardio, like the treadmill, Stairmaster, the bike, I make sure that I have my Kindle in here. Um, and I'm currently reading The Invisible Life of Addie Laurie and I have these straps on the back, that way your hand just sits there comfortably as well. So yeah, always take my Kindle with me. I love my Kindle so much. Um, next I'll show you the other pocket. So there's a small zip just, uh, just here. And in this one, I just keep my AirPods in there. So I have the AirPods 2, I believe. And I got this really cute case from Sheen as well. And they're fully charged, which is great. So that's what lives in that little pocket. All right, so let's get into the main, into the main section. I have lots and lots of stuff in here. So I always have my um, pre-workout shaker or protein powder shaker, whatever you want to call it. In here, this is from Third Fix and it's this beautiful um, yellow color. And what I really love about this, it doesn't have that really annoying metal ball in there. Because of the way this bottle is made, you shake it and it honestly, it gets rid of, it like it disperses the product really well. There's no like annoying clumps or anything in there. So if you are looking for a shaker, I definitely recommend the one from Third Fix. Um, they don't sell this cool yellow color anymore. Um, but I do want to pick up more colors because they're so cute. I really want the purple one. Um, next in here, of course, I have my Hydro Flask, my baby, my pride and joy, my emotional support bottle. And I have these really cute stickers. So there's a sloth eating some noodles. I think this says, hang on, let me overthink this because who isn't an overthinker? Of course, I need to have a Justin Bieber sticker on there. I am still so upset that he didn't come to Australia. I was meant to see him in December, and then it got postponed to March, and then he just cancelled his tour. Like, I understand why he did it, because, like, he was having health issues and stuff, but I really just wanted to see him live in concert. So anytime I just feel like I want to see a Justin Bieber concert, I think he has three movies out, and I can just... Pretend I'm in a concert and jam out. And yeah, I love this bottle so much. It keeps my water nice and cool. I love that I have a little straw. Make sure you're staying hydrated, guys. And this is just under a litre. 32 Oz, 946 mils. It would have been better just to make it a litre. But anyways, so those are my bottles. And then, of course, I just have a sweat towel. This one is from Naked Harvest. Naked Harvest. It was just like a free gift with purchase. And I think it's a really nice size as well. So that's my towel. 
Gotta have one of those. Pretty sure most gyms have signs up saying if you don't have a towel, you can't train, which I definitely agree with because you gotta wipe your sweaty ass face. Um, next, I just have a resistance band. So I really like using this for warming up when I'm doing an upper body day like I did today. Can you tell? Coming along nicely. Um, and I also use this for like assisted chin-ups and assisted pull-ups. I'm currently trying to do a muscle up. So far, no luck. I can get myself, like I can do a chin-up and a pull-up. I can do 10 pull-ups without assistance pretty easily but I just I can't do that movement I just can't so I've been have I've been actually adding in an extra day per week so instead of I have five normal um, weightlifting sessions a week but then I've actually added in a six a sixth session to help with like calisthenics I'm trying to do more body weight movements in that sixth session because I really just want a muscle up that is my goal for this year so yes um, this is my resistance band warms me up nicely and I think this is a medium resistance as well I just got that from rebel sports Next I have these Sliders and what I use these for I'll actually insert clips of me using this I use it to do um, Core exercises because I'm really trying to make sure that I'm strengthening my core having a really good core helps you know, take pressure off your back as well, which is really important for me because I did have a back injury a couple years ago and when I was seeing my physio, he really emphasized that having a strong, good core will help me with that. And honestly, I have not had issues in over like a year and it's been amazing. So yeah, um, I use these to do like pikes, I think they're called. I don't really know, but it's actually really hard. I can only manage like 10 at a time. So I have these sliding discs. I think this was like $3 from Kmart. Um, next, I have these wrist wraps. So these are from S. KDK. I just got these off Amazon and I really wanted a fun color so I went for pink. If they had a pastel purple I definitely would have went for the purple. So those are that. Honestly I don't use these too much. Um, I thought these would really help me with my deadlifts um, because I really struggle with gripping the bar and obviously this is what it's for because it has these gripping properties but I actually I don't know if I'm using these wrong or not but I my grip is way worse when I'm using these. Um, I like to use them when I'm holding dumbbells. That way, because I don't know if you're, if you lift a lot, you probably have these calluses going on. Love that for me. Um, but anyways, I like to use these when I'm holding dumbbells. But I just, I got these specifically for deadlifting. And it's honestly just made my deadlifting worse. So I don't use those for the purpose that I got them for. Um, and I always make sure that I keep a perfume in my bag. So this is Sweet Like Candy from Ariana Grande. Mm, I love her perfumes so much. And look how cute the little bottle is. I wish this was the sprayer, but that's that. Sweet Like Candy. Mm, I smell so good right now. And next, I have two more things, I think. Yeah. Um, so next, I always have my skipping rope in here. I actually did 10 minutes of skipping today. And I got to like the five minute mark and I'm just like, I don't want to do this anymore. But, you know, I was already halfway there and I really wanted to make sure that I was all warmed up. So this skipping rope is from the WOD Life, which stands for the workout of the day. And what I really like about these skipping ropes, not only are they really nice and durable, is you can actually, when you receive the skipping rope, it's actually really long. But you can cut it, you add that tip on there, and then you screw it in place. That way you can actually tailor this to your height. And let me tell you, I had to cut off a real big chunk of this because I am five, five foot on the shorter side. So I really recommend these skipping ropes from The Wad Life if you feel like you struggle to find a skipping rope that works for your height. Because like I said, it is adjustable, which is great. And it comes in a cute little mesh bag. That way it doesn't get all tangled up in my crap. And the last thing I want to talk about is... Ugh, what are these even called? I don't know. I got these to do um, cable kicks. So that way I can just pop that on around my ankle. And then that I can just do cable kicks. So you just pop your leg in there. And then you attach that to the cable and you just do whatever you want to do. So I got these from PTP, which was just, again, from Rebel Sports. Um, I really love doing cable kicks. I've just gone up in weight. I'm at like 
6.5 kilos and oof, I did them yesterday and they were a killer. So that's what those look like. Okay, so that is everything that I keep in my gym bag. I will now insert um, clips of all the pockets and compartments because there are so many in here. And like I said, if you're after a bag and you really like totes, check this one out from Gymshark. It is the everyday tote. Um, Gymshark actually do have lots of totes. They have like smaller versions of this as well if you do want a smaller version. But for me, this is just such... A perfect size the perfect gym bag it also fits my cam uh, like if I do take my camera and my tripod with me to the gym that goes in there as well um, yeah just a really really great gym bag and you can honestly you just use this as like a holiday bag as well probably use this as a beach bag too cuz yeah just pop that around there and you are good to go I just wanted to quickly um, also share with you guys the pre-workouts that I'm using at the moment. So I still love the ones from Naked Harvest. But I picked um, these tubs of Raise Energy from Elite Subs because they were 50% off. So I'm currently trying to use up the Baja Lime flavor. So that's Baja Lime. And I have Galaxy Burst. I really love this flavor. I think this is my favorite of the three. Um, and this one isn't opened yet, but I have tried it before. It's sour gummy worms. So yes, these are currently what I'm using at the moment. Oh, how fun are these colors? Ooh. Okay, so I have my gym bag here all empty and the stuff to the side because I just want to show you guys how I put everything together. So as you can see, oh, you probably actually can't see, but there's two, there's two pockets here. There's a pocket there and there's another pocket with a zipper here as well. Alrighty, let's pop everything inside. So I've got my sliders and my skipping rope, which will go in this compartment. And then I have my wrist straps and these thingy majiggies. Don't actually know what they're called, I'll probably find out which will go in the compartment next to it. And then my perfume will go in this little front one there. Looking good. Next, pop my towel in. My water bottle. My shaker. resistance band and there's still so much room in this as well all right she's all zipped up and then all that's left is for my kindle which just slides in just there and there you have it my tote is all ready to go now all ready for the gym Alright guys, thank you so much for joining me in today's video where I'm sharing with you everything that I keep in my gym bag. If you did enjoy this video, please make sure you give it a thumbs up, leave a comment as subscribers. That helps me out so, so much. I hope you guys are having an amazing day wherever you are and just remember that one bad day isn't a setback and tomorrow can always be better. Bye guys.